Hey everybody, let's continue more Rick and Morty. Um, never mind. Not now, Morty, I'm busy. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Summer, where are you going? Ethan's taking me out to a 50s bar. It's where all the hottest teens hang out. Ethan was that cute boy from your school, right? Yep, I hope all my friends are there to see us together. I'll be the hot topic in school for weeks. Alright, but don't stay out too late. I won't. See you later, Mom. <sighs> I really hope she's being safe. She's at that age, and I worry she might get pregnant early like me. I wouldn't worry about that. Why is that? Crap, I might have said too much. Oh, I I think uh, Ethan practices celibacy. The coolest guy in school is celibate. Your generation is so weird. Still, didn't see you ha didn't you see how happy and in love she looked? <laughs> when are you going to find a nice, cute girlfriend? I don't know. It's not like I'm not trying. Well, keep trying. I'm sure you'll find someone amazing. Does it really matter? I've got you, don't I? Uh, Morty, you have to experience real young love. What we do, what we do doesn't count as that. Oh, right. I don't want you to give up on having a real relationship. Promise me you'll keep trying. I, I promise. Good. Help me clean up the table. I have to go to work. You walk into Rick's garage and sit across from Rick as he works on his experiments. Oh, uh, hi, Morty. Hey. Rick notices you in a bad mood and decides to ignore you and continue working on his experiments. <sighs> Rick carefully tries to measure out two micro drops of plasma, but your loud sigh throws off his concentration. He stops to see whether he should say anything but decides to ignore you again. <sighs> Ugh. He slams the vials he was carefully holding on the desk and turns toward you. So, what is it? It's... Uh, it's nothing. If it's nothing, why did you... Then why are you distracting me with your obnoxiously loud sighs? Sorry, I didn't realize I was distracting you. There's obviously something big on your mind and you need someone to talk to. The good news is I'm right here. I'm not doing pretend burps, sorry guys. To tell you the truth. To tell you to go find Beth and get it over with. Wow, I really thought that was going somewhere else. I'm not your emotional support, Marty, nor am I your wick. So let's keep what we have as professional as possible. At least until we both reach our goal and return to our separate dimensions. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Glad we come to an understanding. To be frank... I don't think you sit down to talk about my issues, even if you were my Rick. Wow. How come? I don't know. You just never seem like the type to care about that kind of stuff. Sitting down and talking to your Morty every once in a while is a basic Morty maintenance. Basic maintenance? I'm not a car, Rick. No, but some of the adventures you go on can easily break, you, break your Morty. Talking things over and putting some things into perspective is like an oil change in a car. It keeps your Morty's brain running smoothly. Trust me, it doesn't take much to do that. I'm, I'm not sure I get what you're saying. Never mind. Look, I still don't want to talk to you about your issues or anything, but since the garage is a mess, we could go hang out somewhere until Morticia cleans it up. Really? Morticia? What the fuck is that? But the garage looks pretty clean to me. I said it's filthy, so do you want to go to Boob World or not? Did you say Boob World? Holy shit, you've never been there before, have you? Nope, but it, it, it sounds like somewhere I'd really like to go. Heck yeah, you do. Come on. We'll need some fresh new looks before we get there. Aw, oh, I love the new shirt smell. What the fuck? He's wearing a Rick and Morty shirt. The chicks are gonna be all up in our biz when they see us wearing these Rick and Morty custom tees. 
I bet we could sell these. Hell yeah. I fucking love merch. Speaking of, you should check out our merch shop. It's linked in the description. A thunderstorm appears out of nowhere and drops green rain burning your skin. Ah, uh, rain! the rain, it burns! Quick, Morty, protect the shirts. You both run inside the car, hiding from the acid rain. My skin's on fire! Why is the rain doing that? You hear an evil laugh coming from the sky. My acid rain will destroy all things green natural, or my name isn't Diesel Weasel! <laughs> I feel like this is probably an actual character from the show. Huh? Well, that guy's... Well, that guy's easy to please. Oh, I bet you... Yeah, yeah, he is. The Captain Planet knockoff thing. Your acid... Sorry. Your acid rain is an acid pain in the butt, Diesel Weasel. Wow. Yikes. Who's the chick in need of a dialogue pass? You stare in awe as the hot girl in tight spandex suit kicks the villain's ass. Wow. Morty, if you say wow one more time, I swear to fucking God. Rick finishes his drink and tosses it out the wind the car window. Are you crazy, Rick? She's right there. Yeah, get that aluminum, Morty. It's 8% of the earth. We'll need every atom. Thanks. Every litter bit helps. You remember the design of your shirt and quickly try to hide the it from Planetea. Y your problem. Excuse me? Sorry, I, I wanted to say no problem. You're welcome. And it came out your problem. I'm an idiot. Sorry. You're not an idiot. You recycled. I I'm Morty. Nice to meet you, Morty. I'm Planeta Planet Planetina. And I hope... Dog. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Honk, honk. Hey, the fuck we doing here? Uh, you like soft serve? There's a shop around the bend. Oh, I don't eat ice cream. Veal is a product of the dairy industry. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not. Honk. Oh my god, come on. Boob World opens at 5. Let's go. Boob World? It's a shelter for abandoned baby animals. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yeah, I love animals and, um, and nature and stuff. I can tell... When I can tell. Since you still have some time until the shelter opens, I know a place that serves cruelty-free donuts. If you'd like, I could fly you and your friend there easy-peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, okay, I I'll ask him. You take off your shirt and throw it at Rick. He said he couldn't come. Let's go. Planetia picks you up and flies you off to the donut shop. Thanks for treating me, Morty. I completely forgot I don't actually carry any money on me. You're welcome. I'm just glad to hang out with you. Oh, golly, I really hope I don't disappoint you then. How could you? You're a real-life superhero. I I'm not that special. Well, I think you are. Her blue cheeks turn red as you compliment catches her by surprise. Thanks. Oh, jeez, I can't believe I just said that. That was so embarrassing. She got really quiet. I hope she doesn't think I'm too weird or anything. Let's dig in. I'm sure you'll love it a whole lot. Plantea holds up the donut trying to make her quirky joke come through. <laughs> I get it. A nasty flavor appears in your mouth as soon as you take a bite. What do you think? Mm, it's okay. You hate it, don't you? You force, you force yourself to swallow the rest, barely holding back the making of a gag noise. It's, uh, it's not my favorite. Sorry. It's okay. Cruelty-free donuts aren't for everyone. I've never had a donut that tastes like soup before. Would you like to try mine? It's made of figs, so it's really sweet. Although I already took a bite. Sure. I'll trade. I don't mind sharing saliva with you. Okay. You take a bite off Planetana's donut as, as she stares at you with anticipation. So? Hey, this is really good. Right? Yeah, I really like it. I'm so glad. This would be a terrible date if you hated the food here. Is, 
Is, is this a date? I don't get out much, so I was kind of hoping it was. Is that okay with you? Of course. You're so kind. Thank you. Don't not mention it. <laughs> You're so hilarious, Morty. Planetea takes a bite of your donut, the filling from inside shooting some stains in her costume. Oops, I think I got a bit of curry sauce on me. Sorry, I should have warned you, mine came with filling. It's okay, it's not your fault. You get up and pass her a napkin from the table. Thank you. What kind of donut is filled with curry sauce? I thought it tasted fine. Aw, oh, jeez, it totally stained your costume. Nothing to worry about. I'll just materialize a new one later. Though I'll have to recycle a bit first. Recycle? My costume is materialized from organic latex and recycled items. I like to think that it's the reason why it's so strong. I had no idea you could do that. It's pretty handy, and it's comfier than it looks. Would you like to feel it? Uh, sure. Planetea sits closer next to you with her legs crossed. Go ahead, touch it. You'll see. You'll see it's just as good as any other material. Where should I touch? Anywhere you'd like. Your eyes instantly lock on her crotch area. Planetea notices and corrects herself. Uh, almost anywhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking anything weird. I was looking at your thighs. I was thinking my arm, but thigh is fine. Is that okay? You're a nice guy. I'm sure you wouldn't try anything weird on your first date. Uh, okay, here we go. Here I go. You gently press your fingers against her thigh, trying your best to hide your perverted thoughts as you do it. No need to be shy, Morty. Go ahead and feel it. Uh, all right. You try to pull on the material by squeezing her thigh. Hmm. Panatea suddenly pulls away. What just happened? My leg felt so weak all of a sudden. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, I'm not sure why I reacted like that just now. Here, give it another try. This time I'll stand. I'll stand still, I promise. It's okay if you don't want me to... I insist. Well, um, okay then. You place your hand on her thigh again, rubbing it the same way you did before. Her thigh are so nice and firm. I hope she doesn't realize this is turning me on. My le my legs are feeling weak again. I can barely sit still when he rubs there. But why is that? It's not like it hurts or anything. I'd say it even feels kind of good. It's making my body feel so weird and hot. Hey guys, Lily here. Do you guys like t-shirts and other merch? Well, we have new ones in the shop. We're working with AI, art, and other artists to work on some exclusive shirts. Look at this one of Suka. Boy, is she looking evil. We have our lovely guinea pigs in a box that you could pick up. Or even Nightmare Suka here. We, of course, have Guinea Thulu or Cthulhu. Isn't he just the cutest? We have all new stuff going and body pills going into retirement. So come and pick them up if you want. You can also pick up our lovely comics, Issue 1. You can also check out our Patreon, Subscribestar, or OnlyFans if you want to get it that way. Alright guys, thanks for being awesome. Let's get back. Are you that girl, Planetia? Heidi ho that's me. Haven't you been watching the TV? There's an awful wildfire happening right outside the city. Oh no, that's terrible. Fear not, citizen. I'll take care of it. The fire's like miles away. I don't care what you do. You're leaving? Sorry, Morty, but duty calls. I understand. Well, I had a great time today. Yeah, me too. I hope we meet again soon. Well, you know where to find me. See you around, Morty. Planetina flies out of the donut shop before you can even finish your sentence. S see you. There's only one solution for Earth's population. Or population. Pollution. You. Pretty cool, huh? I can't believe I actually hung out with Planetina. How old is this woman? She looks very mature. She's a sentient amalgam of nature, natural elements, so I don't believe age applies to her. Is it weird that she hasn't texted me yet? Yes. No. 
There's a huge forest fire like 200 miles from here. This is amazing. Planetina is bound to be there. Mom, I, I need a credit card to buy a train ticket. Absolutely not. Mom, this is the biggest wildfire of the year. You're not going. Jerry, say something. Train tickets are expensive, Morty. If you want them, you have to buy them yourself. This is not about the money, Jerry. It's not? What's the big deal, then? Let him hang out with his girlfriend. She's not his girlfriend. But she soon might be. You yourself said I should look for a younger girl to date, didn't you? That's not what I meant, Morty. Plus, this woman does not look much younger than me. You need a young, innocent kind of love. I just don't want you getting hurt, Morty. Please think this over. I don't want to think it over. I want to see a girl I like. If you don't want to help me, I'll find my own goddamn way to the wildfire. You slam the door and leave the house. Rick, I, I know that you said you need the car today, but please can I use the, it for a couple hours? I, I, have to go ca I have to go get this forest fire. Forest fire. Are you trying to play superhero again? No, I want to meet someone there. Who are you meeting with? Smokey the Bear? I'm trying to meet with Palatina. Planetia. Oh my god, I keep doing that. Oh, that was that blue girl you ditched me for, right? Yeah. Well, you can't have the car. I need it today. But I can drop you off if you'd like. You'll just have to figure out a way back on your own. Sure, that's fine. I can get a bus or something. All right, let's go. Let's get going then. Actually, can we drop by one more place before we go there? Huh? Uh, where? The pet store. Isn't this a little too close to the fire? No, this is perfect. Are you sure? Even the rabbit realizes this is too close. I told you this is fine. She'll save me if it's necessary. There she is. You need to get out of here before she sees you. Suit yourself. Adios. Come here, little buddy. Come on, come on. I gotcha. Morty, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, you're here too? Yeah, I heard about the wildfire back home and, you know, I uh, stopped to lend a hand. Here you go, fella. All safe now. Ah, rabbits. Always hopping. Never or never stopping. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it was great hanging out the other day. I, I was getting kind of, I mean, I got kind of a positive vibe. Oh, good. I was hoping out, one out. I was, I was putting one out. I really like you. Holy shit. I mean, uh, well, uh, uh all right. Next step, you want to go out again? I do, but, uh, Morty, I have kids. Oh, I'll get along with them. No, I mean four kids that bring me into existence by combining their powers of their element ring so I can save Earth from ecological d disaster. Oh, them. No, I, I know about them. I, I like them. Oh, good. Well, here they are now. Hey, buddy. You want an autograph? That's 20 bucks a pop. No, Eddie, he, he's a friend. Morty, these are my kids, the teen, Tina Tears. Oh, uh, hey. This is freaking you out, huh? It's a lot to take in. I understand. Well, I guess I better go. See you around, Morty. I don't know why it does that. Heidi ho, TV58. Planetia, you single-handedly saved the National Forest with ease. I do what I can, but I can't do it alone. And who's your friend over there? Oh, this is Morty Smith. He traveled 200 miles just to save a rabbit from the fire. He's a very special guy. So, are you two dating? Oh, um, we... I... Yes, we are. Well, that's a wrap, boys. Let's head home. Did you really mean all that? I, I think you're really cool and I, I'd like to get to know you better. And you're not bothered by my kids? It's a bit weird, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Tina, why are you still talking to this person? You're going to be late for the protest. Oh, right. I can't believe I almost forgot about them. Uh, ask him to buy merch and go. Okay, I will. Sorry, Morty, but I have to go again. Where are you going? A giant furniture company wants to cut down a forest nearby. 
So a bunch of eco-fighters are planning on doing a sit-in. It's very slow and boring, but apparently it's effective. Well, can I come help too? Really? You'd do that? As long as I get to spend more time with you. Great. This will be way more fun if we're both here. If we're both there. Let's go. Planet Platina. I keep wanting to say it. Takes you to the forest where all the protesters have gathered. The people at the sit-in cheer as soon as you two fly down. Wow, a lot of people have gathered here today, huh? Of course. Nature belongs to all of us, and only we can protect it. Now, hold still while I tie you up. Isn't it a bit early for rope play? <laughs> what? Never mind. Planetia Planet Tina. I'm just going to call her Tina. It's easier that way. Tina ties you both tightly against a tree, leaving you completely immobile. Does it have to be this tight? I'm sorry, was it was that too much? I'm kind of struggling to move or breathe. This might be for the best. Otherwise, they might forcibly take you away. Oh, I, uh, I understand. Don't worry, I I'm sure it won't be for long. Once they see the power of our resolve, I'm sure they'll pack their stuff and leave. We're not in the 60s anymore, girl. Then you and I can go on a real date. C can't wait! Later. And that's where we're going to leave it, guys.